All right, what's up, Title Nation? We got our board briefing Tuesday, May 11th. Our warm-up's gonna be five burpees, sorry, three rounds, five burpees, 10 plank up downs, 15 air squats, okay? We got two rounds of mobility, down dog to cobra, spicy hip uh, flow warm-up, okay? And then we have a review of the dumbbell power snatch, dumbbell overhead squat, dumbbell high pulls. Then we have a little bit of a flow check, so we're gonna do 200 meter run, five dumbbell snatches on one side, five on the other, and then five overhead squats on each side as well. 10 push-ups, and then we'll do five sumo deadlift high pulls on one side, five on the other, and then 10 clapping push-ups, or your scaling option, which could, which could be a regular push-up push -up from our knees, okay? Um, and then after that, the workout, final countdown, three, two, one, go. We're gonna run one mile, okay? And then you're gonna do four rounds of 10 alternating dumbbell snatches, followed by 10 overhead squats, five on each side. Then you're gonna rest two minutes after that four rounds, and then hit a five minute AMRAP of 10 clapping push-ups, 10 dumbbell high pulls, five on each side. We'll circle back to that special way to score the workout. Right, so warm up, just general warm up. We're getting a heart rate elevated, getting some squats in, getting some upper body work, uh, mobility. It's gonna be some shoulder activation stuff and some hip warm up. Again, we're gonna review the movements, get your primed up, ready to go, uh, and get some options for scaling right about here. Okay, so like if we're not able to do uh, dumbbell overhead head squats, right, May, it's gonna be a dumbbell snatch, or sorry, maybe it's a dumbbell front squat. Or maybe we squat as low as we can with good posture and then bring it down to your shoulder and squat the rest of the way, right? Uh, and then dumbbell high pulls, okay? Uh, the flow check is just to experiment with some of the movements, add a little bit of workout pace, um, see what you think, see how you're feeling, uh, and make adjustments from there before we step into this workout, okay? Then the run, run a mile, four rounds, and then four rounds of the 10 and 10, rest two minutes, and then a five minute and wrap of clapping push-ups and dumbbell high pulls. The way the workout is scored is, get this one, you're gonna add, so you're gonna take the total time it took you to do this before you rest, all right? And then every rep you get in this five minute and wrap will equal one second off in that workout. Right, so then once you come up with your total time, um, minus the total reps, we'll have a final time of score, okay? Um, some scaling options. So dumbbell snatches, we'll just let, lessen the load. If we have ceiling restrictions, maybe it's dumbbell power cleans, right? Uh, I discussed this a few minutes ago about the dumbbell overhead squats. Maybe it's only a dumbbell quarter squat with good posture, and then we tuck the dumbbell down onto our shoulder and complete the front squat with it five on each side. That could be an option for scaling, clapping push-ups, uh, just regular push-ups or push-ups from our knees, or even push-ups from our knees, we can do clapping ones if you can, if you can get that done. Okay, um, dumbbell high pulls, lessen the load or lighten the load, okay? And for the run, um, if we're apartment dwelling and we're not running today, the option is uh, 100 uh, kickbacks, 100 jumping jacks, 100 uh, single skips, or toe taps with your hands stuck out to the side. In that order too, you must finish 100 before you move on, okay? Um, yeah, so final countdown is gonna be a, a good one. Go after it pretty hard. Um, get the runs done, get the snatches done, then you get some rest and then hit this five minute AMRAP. Um, get as much, as many reps as you can so you get the minus the seconds off your total time. All right guys, have fun with it. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow.